The key issue once doing a screening study is to have a very high participation rate because if you have a low participation rate and you want to see if screening a population is of benefit, you need to have the population behind you. So in the iStop MM study, we invited all Icelanders, about 140,000 individuals to participate, and we got 80,759 that provided informed consent to agree to screening and all the clinical workup and follow-up that the iStop MM has. The FLC assay that measures the ratio between free cap and free lambda has actually revolutionized how we think about myeloma and MCUS. So we knew that we were in good hands once we contacted Bantisat for the collaboration. They simply have the FLC analysis out there that is the best and has all the evidence behind it with regards to myeloma literature. I think the reason the binding site were chosen or we identified that our laboratory could do this is that we had the skilled personnel. We had access to multiple systems to meet a considerable sample number per week. And we had a commitment to the study. The objective of the study was quite simple. It was to evaluate the impact of screening for MGUS on overall survival and mortality. What we wanted to understand is whether by screening for MGUS, whether we could improve the overall survival of MGUS patients, both those that transformed to multiple myeloma and otherwise those that had comorbidities or monoclonal gammopathy of renal or clinical significance. We wanted to understand what the specific cause of that survival may be, so what diseases were prevented or what treatment was allowable. I think this study will be an important part of our understanding of the best way to manage MGUS patients. And hopefully, with the data from around 75,000 patients, we'll start to be able to understand that a little bit more.